Uh, okay, as I said at the beginning, we've got um, three people carefully planted in the audience, and actually not that carefully, because two of them are sitting right here up the front together. Um, uh, uh, Mary Myers, and then James Dean, and, and then Jonathan uh, Tanner from... Jonathan, I can't see you. Where are you? You're at the back there. Okay, from, uh, from ODI. So I'm just going to ask them to uh, say a few words. Just introduce yourselves very briefly, and then um, say a few words uh, either on what you've heard or, or on some of the issues that you think we ought to explore, and then we'll, then we'll open it up a bit. Mary, over to you. Okay, thanks very much. Um, is this on? Can you hear me? Yeah. Um, I'm Mary Myers. I'm a development communications consultant, which in itself is problematic because I want to just pick up on this whole word development. And uh, uh, when I say to people I'm a development communications consultant, like taxi drivers or my relatives or casual acquaintances, they say, well, well who do you develop? You know, because development is often associated with people who do who develop green or brownfield building sites. <laughs> but I say, so when I say, well, I've developed people, it all sounds very inadequate. Anyway, um, I was asked here today partly because I'm a trustee uh, with the Panos Network who um, help uh, journalists around the world to get across messages and um, issues that uh, wouldn't otherwise hit the um, media in developing countries. And I thought, actually, what I should do is do a quick straw poll of development journalists that I know um, and what development, the word development means to them and what comes across very strongly from the emails I got in response to my quick email was exactly this thing uh, uh, that Andrew mentioned which is that it, the word development really, really is almost meaningless. Um, however, as Brian was saying, journalists in developing countries do find that the whole um, uh, process of uh, poverty alleviation, of going forward, as as um, as it is sometimes known in the words uh, uh, in Kiswahili, the word mandaleo is what uh, is used for development. I mean, going forward, uh, that is their lifeblood. That is those journalists' lifeblood. So, I asked them, and I had some really nice responses. Mainly that yes, it's an ambiguous, flabby word. It's for used too loosely. It's a catch-all word for good and bad things. And that's um, what I, uh, the main quick point I want to make is that you can, um, uh, you, you find people say, well, if you're, vote, if you're voting, vote for development. Any new road being constructed, that's also development. We're poor because there's no development. Cost of rice is going up because of development. The mining companies are destroying our environment because of development. We are thrown off our land because of development. So these are <laughs> just some illustrations from my quick straw poll of how problematic the development word actually is. Thanks. Deeply ambiguous, absolutely.